Hello Collective for getting us a story out here to help the collective. Ooh, that was uh, <laughs> Thank you for that spirit. saying is this you guys it's saying that oh you you're uh you know nine of cups wish fulfillment oh maybe it's your birthday and you get ready to blow out some candles happy birthday if it's your birthday 101 if you're new to my channel welcome to pound star oracle i'm pam nice to meet you and hopefully i can help you with my wealth of knowledge that i've learned through many life's lessons i implement my own story into it i'm different i do a different way and that's why i need your all's help with a subscription and hit all so you'll be notified every time I upload. So let's get into it. I love my little support pieces. One, two, five, my birthday. So your wish fulfillment. Ooh, emperor, looky there. Your wish fulfillment to your emperor. Oh, maybe you're your own emperor and you're being a boss and getting the damn job done. <laughs> That's what it means. Or it could be saying your wish is, your wish is coming true, your emperor. Your emperor loves uh, you. Ooh, judgment. He, uh, he, he or she's listened to all these people that went around judging you, and and he and he or she knows that their judgment is coming to them. For all who tried to judge you, it's coming back to them. And death. The judgment is death. Oh, somebody made a wish for that emperor to be judged and. And, uh, or you made a wish to go towards this emperor, and the judgment is, uh, death. Like you, two, 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 like, you might be having to sell your house. See how it says for sale out in the front lawn? Maybe you gotta sell your house and move away, and I'm sorry, y'all, if you gotta do that. Um, or maybe it's just saying you put an ending to whoever this person was that judged you. It could have been an emperor in the world, um, you know, Aries, that's what the energy emperor is. Uh, the world, you, you completed out this cycle, but I think it's saying your wish fulfillment um, by showing others what judgment does to a person. And because you, because like I just said, I implement things that I've had to go through. I think that by me doing that, it's helping others to see that judging others is the wrong way. And and it, you're helping people all around the world. You're wish fulfillment. I love you all. Peace. <laughs> and and you're helping them to stop being depressed. See four cups. Uh, you're you're helping them not worry about all this rejection. That's how it is, you guys. Don't be depressed over that shit. Okay. And uh, oh well, wait. I forgot to read this. Ten of Wands, y'all. Yeah. See, you completed out that cycle and you had to remove these burdens that wasn't yours, you know. You went through a transformation, you know. You had to lay shit down at what your burden to take, you know. And, and uh, you had to realize what that rejection done. And, and uh, Ten of Cups, this, this is helped your whatever you've done has helped your marriage or it's helped you to uh somebody sees you as they want to be married to you and they want to make love to you you know ten of cups that's 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 happiness that's success uh you're helping people's marriages maybe maybe i'm doing that by speaking because you know i am married maybe i'm helping you all i understand that you can get through any challenges even if 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 you if you had a crush on somebody else and they rejected you, you can get through that. You understand? And the hermit looked there. I'm teaching y'all to go take it down spiritual bath. I just did the the sea. I went to the shower. I went to the shower. See, and uh, 
you need to go take a shower and put you some of that Himalayan pink salt on your wash rag and use you some Dove lavender. That's what I use, you all. Well, they made a new Dove. I've been using it. It smells good. I don't know the name of it, but it looks blue, but it's it smells so good. So you need to go take your spiritual bath and chill. You need to rest, relax, learn, figure out what you learned on, with whoever this person is. And that's what you did. And that's why uh, you, you're you getting ready to celebrate in the community. You you might be getting acknowledged in the spiritual community. And I love y'all. And I, I thank y'all for acknowledging me, my spiritual family. I love y'all. And uh, I just hope to bring a little light to everyone's life. And that's why I need your help with subscriptions, you guys. I thank you. So the community sees. And, and, uh... By you being in hermit mode, uh, Six of Swords. Look at this. See, over here it looks like trash, and dark, and dreary. And the angels and me, and I'm helping you all to go away from the dark and move to the light. That's what that's saying. That's what that's saying. And Spirit appreciates you for it. And uh, Spirit appreciates you because you're telling them to go out of that dark and go towards the light and find their, uh, go after what it is they want. And you could have a lot of options, you know. Uh, maybe you got options to do this, that, that, or this, you know, or have this person, that person, or this, or that. It's just whatever it is. But I think that. You love yourself and all your other cups is filled up with your accomplishments. That's what it means to me. And uh, this knave of wands, this young energy, this this is reptilian energy, uh, uh, this younger energy that's very um, flighty, flighty, like they do things on a whim. Like this person, uh, whoever this person is you got away from and you stop being up in your fucking head over it, that helped your marriage. It yielded it by releasing this burden of whoever this Aries or Taurus man was. Uh, it helped you uh, to show others the way to go. Some, some people that needed to pay attention to this. Because not everybody's supposed to leave their marriage. Or you listen, not everybody is. I don't give a fuck who you listen to. You know, people that you listen to, if they say that, they are just, uh, they're just mad because they don't have that stability, you understand? Uh, and King of Cups here, this is, uh, you know, you show your love to everybody. Somebody loves you really big, and it could be the father of your children, see? Or you, the people is learning from you and your creativity. I think that's what it's saying. I think it's saying these people, uh, so read it long ways. It's saying, uh, your wishes is came true. Uh, your wish fulfillment for somebody out here and all this judgment, all it did is, uh, you, you're showing others that judging others is the wrong way to do it. People in the world love you for that because you show how people treated you. You're the different one. I'm the different one like that that shows that with my cards. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And, um, Spirit said they thank you that you stopped focusing and putting all your love and attention on this one person that didn't even care for you. They're th that's why that you had to go into hermit mode to, to quit worrying about these people that didn't care for you. And, and, uh, that, that moved you out of the darkness. You went from the dark to the light. You see what I'm saying? Because you healed. You're, you're healing all them old wounds and issues. And, and people is following you. That's why at Naval Wands and all them little lizards come out. They, you're helping these reptilians. Maybe I'm helping the reptilians. And 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 this emperor um, is going through a uh, is losing is losing things left and right. They've got a lot of burdens on their back. Um, they they wish they had a happy family like you they they want they wish that they could take you out in the community as their wife or husband that but they they've had uh, they've they had way too many options and 
And, and now they feel love energy. That's what it is. Hang on, let me finish. What's the outcome, spirit? What What's the outcome of this emperor uh, loving this person and their marriage? They're, they're weighty. Uh, they're, they're not going to come towards you. I'll, ten, ten. Ooh, divine's helping us. So, uh, they're waiting on you to come to them. So, this person doesn't have enough courage to tell you. They don't. That's what that means. I'm telling you. And, uh, ten of swords. See? They're waiting on you to come to, come to them. Um... Hell, I can't remember what in the hell. What is Ten of Swords for some reason? I got a brain for it at the moment. Oh, yeah, backstab betrayal. They, they're they waiting on all this uh, betrayal uh, to be. I don't. Hang on a minute. And then we have the Hierophant. Someone's waiting on the lies to be exposed in this marriage. Did you hear that? 11, 11, twin flame. I love you. Uh, ooh, and then we got eight of wands. This is talking about bringing it from as above, so below. They're, they're you know, turning and walking away. Uh, so you turn and walk away from this situation and you're alchemizing. Uh or you walked away from them and they're trying to alchemize you back in their life. They feel, yeah, look, heartbreak, betrayal. Uh, that, that's all they feel. They, they, they're, they're, they're in pain during this separation. Or you've been in pain during this separation. And, and you're needing to take that walk. And get on that fool's journey. <laughs> this is your this is your new beginning. Uh, you know, so you ain't worried about that shit anymore. And because uh, you know you're the young puss. You know, your very loving, caring, nurturing mother can bring your dreams to reality. That's what you do now, baby. And uh, it this is about your choice. That's what it means. Two of Wands. This is about your choice. That's all it means, you guys. The choice is choose love. Choose love. Not having to worry about where do I get this next. Choose love. Don't have to worry about all this dumb bullshit. Live in the light. Somebody wants to live in the light with you. They want, they want to be your partner. See, Two of Cups. This is your spiritual partner. They... They love you, and uh, they love you, Queen of Swords. Oh, do you know my Libra Aquarius? Your King of Swords loves you big. Look, Queen of Swords, your King of Swords loves you big. They know that you're a high priestess, and you can, you saw through all this bullshit, and that you had the down strength and courage to get the job done now. You're alchemizing. Oh, yes, right now. And the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, you're getting ready to receive some good luck. And, and somebody's want to, somebody can't stop looking at your picture. See that picture? You're going to be flying. You're going to be like a star flying in the sky. That's the damn justice. That's the justice now. You being like that beautiful thing is flying in the sky. Everybody looking at your pictures because you worked on yourself. You put in the work. And, and uh, you're going to be wealthy in the physical realm and a creative success yes and yes you won't be up in your head anymore worrying about bullshit what what what's this person said or did or blah 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 you ain't gonna have to worry about that no more or be left out in the cold uh, you know, because you're all going to be having fun and celebrating together and getting married and maybe coming together at Halloween. Ooh, Hallow's Eve. The other day it said something about Halloween. Oh, yeah, because you're balanced. That's why it's coming to you. you know, you know how to give and receive equally. You just got it all together, baby. Oh, God, almighty. 
and somebody you will find out a secret some a, a lie somebody's trying to steal your writings somebody's stealing your writings and i don't talk about it on my channel and it's okay because uh this earth sign is uh i'm going to be the leader over it i'm going to be the winner because they can't steal all my fucking thoughts and my ideas and think they can get away with it or they can't fuck with my love relationship you know because i'm balanced I'm balanced. And I can handle towers. You know what? Yeah. Me and my collector, we know how to handle that shit. We not worried, are we? Nah. We not worried. Did y'all like your cards? If you did, hit like. That way you help me. See, I try to mix it up for my collective. I love us. I love us. I love us better than keeping it the same old bland. Have you noticed? Have you noticed how much I love y'all? I try to now. <coughs> Let's see. I want to see what if this says some. Um, they're all mixed upside down and around and backwards. But I'll turn them around right. Okay, you guys. I'll turn them around right. Don't worry. Don't worry about stuff like that, you dad. Don't let shit like that bother you. Oh, I'm sorry. The one was up there. That was from my last reading. I forgot to take them down. I'm putting them back. What's something that somebody needs an old day spirit? What part of the collective? On a pie slap. On a pie slap. Okay, what else? I love you, Spirit. You're so good, Spirit. You're not good, you are. Oh, I know it's so true. I know it is. I know it is. I knew it, Spirit. I know, I know, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. <coughs> I love how you flipped it up. Oh, wowdy, woody. Spirit knows it, too. Spirit knows it, too, now. Oh, it's all that is. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. We're calling. <laughs> Ooh, <dog. laughs> Spirit. Shit. Oh. Ooh, what else? Spirit, you're so fast. Ooh. Okay, hear what it said, you guys. And a high priest or high priestess is, is over all of it. So, uh, integration. Uh, so, you're integrating different... You're allowing what we perceive as positive and what we perceive as negative to harmonize and in balance of symphony of life. That's what you're doing at the moment. Um, authority. You took the authority to, the authority reminds us that true authority is powerful, directed, and realized, yet receptive, wise, and loving. So you're integrating, being wise, loving, and you're just integrating it, and Merkaba is helping you. And this supports our ability to use our unconscious to traverse into other layers of reality and dimensions. It activates our access to our Akashic inheritance as well. Merging the totality of our experience into our present to serve our highest purpose. I love you, spirit. So you're integrating your, you know, your, your negative and positive. You took the authority to be receptive and wise and loving, and 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 you're receiving your Akashic inheritance at the moment. And uh, you you might live on a farm. I live on a farm right now, Spirit. I live on a farm with a father right now. And back in a past life, you did this as well. Y'all had a farm. Uh, you and this father did way long ago in biblical times. 1919, I love you, Spirit. And 19 is special to me. And I linked me and 19 all the way back to biblical times. Yes, I did. Yes, yes, I did. And uh, you all... Um, Maybe your person was a great sculptor. See how he's sculpting it looks like? Maybe you was a sculptor and uh, 
and uh, you used to uh, he used to do things like that, and he's remembering back to biblical times and the Greco Romans. So you and this father came from the from the biblical times, and you lived together in Greco Roman times, which was before biblical, I guess. You know what I'm saying? And uh, in the Greco Roman era, you had a lot of finances. You gained a lot of wealth over the years um maybe this father is 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 a, a a good authority figure and he's leaving you finances and uh this is about your romantic love you and your romantic love in greco roman times had money this might not be like the father of your kids but somebody else like you know like an unrequited love it pulled out but the frequency of romantic love supports our journey to feel whole and complete through the experience with and reflection of a conscience lover. So see, this is this you and this father at lived in biblical times. You all are truly in love with each other. You're all conscious. You all do things together. You know, it's it's not a dream. You do things with trust and faith because the angels got your back. The angels is there with you the whole way. All you got to do is call upon them. To guide your steps. And they will. Trust. And monk or nun, you could you're somebody who prays. You you have you got a lot of faith and you you you've prayed a lot in this love life. You've went through many challenges. Look, romantic love, love life. Huh? But you know, all it's saying is uh that this these are cautious records. It's already written in your Akashic records that you lived in biblical times and you all was romantically in love. It, this was your love life. Uh, you you both was uh, scribes or writers or or your or your man was a sculptor and you was a writer. I love you, Spirit. I, I claim that. I claim that one. Do you all claim it? If you claim it, hit hit like and subscribe. Oh, belief. Uh, and belief supports our sense of self-worth based on our gifts and talents and a strong connection to source. And I do have a strong connection to source, I told y'all. I can ask the universe and they will give me, like I'll ask the universe a question and I'll say, will you give me a shooting star if, if that's true? And the universe does, you know. And I've always been like that. And 2222, my, and my partner knows it. Uh, uh, I, can, I can ask something and the divine shows me within quick it's very seldom where I have to wait a whole day. It really is. It's within within minutes or an hour I get I get a reply. So a belief. So somebody has a belief that this unrequited love. This is someone that you poured all your affections on, and they didn't pour none of the affections back on you. That's what it's saying. Uh, this unrequited love. Mida also used to be a scribe or writer just like you. Maybe you all maybe y'all wrote love letters to you wrote a love letter to this person or something and you know uh they they look at it a lot. But reading it long ways it says you're integrating what you've learnt into your daily life. You might live on a farm, uh or you lived on a farm back in the old days and you was a Greco Roman, you had trust and faith and you it was all about belief. But back then it was all about beliefs. Do you get it? It's, it's been like that for many, many moons. You took the authority to help this father with finances. You you prayed and had you know, month or none, you you prayed faithfully, you helped them with their finances. And this unrequited love. That's what it's saying. You took the authority to help this father that didn't love you back to raise their finances and their spirituality. That's what it's saying. You helped this person that didn't show you shit. And uh, and, and, and God raw loves you for it. Even if that person didn't tell you, I love y'all and it'll be okay. Don't let that shit bring you down, okay? Because uh, this was written in the Akashic Records that you're from biblical times and this romantic love of yours this was the love of your life. That's what it's saying. There's writings of it. Yeah, and it is in my true story. I know it is because I have a it. I know. And that's how I know. And I love you, Spirit. I love how you show people stories and they can link it. And it sounds like 
ours is the same, and I love you for that. Because maybe you and your person both was high priests and high priestesses. That's why you all know about alchemy at this moment. And that's why all this energy is helping you, that synergy. Because this is about universal love and emerging with the divine feminine sh crown chakra. Because y'all might have been from Atlantis. And you're all like from the damn galactic. This shit's from out of the, it's out of stars. You're all made from the fucking stars. You're consciously aware of this. That Mother Gaia helps to show you this. This was about your spirituality and religion and figuring out which one you was going to allow, allow to bring healing between all these wars and battles. You empowered yourself to forgive these people who persecuted you. That's why your ships is getting ready to come in. That means money's coming to you. Because these authority figures is giving it to you. I love you for that, Spirit. And that's all I'm going to say. Did that help the story for you all? I hope it did. I hope it did, you guys. Because that's what I'm trying to do is help us. I was trying to turn all them old cards around. Okay, I'm going to quit. Hang on, you guys. Since I did that, let me give us a little one of these today. Let me give us one of these today, spirit. Give us a good one. These are mine. Do not copy. These are my uh, lessons. And this is my angel deck, and nobody has permission to copy or steal. Thank you, Spirit. And I got numbers in it because my angels help me. That's how they help me to write number these numbers and tell you what they mean. Okie dokie, and, um, and your angels gave you a gift of positivity. That's why people will gravitate towards you just so they can be around your positive energy because you're a high viber. And your angels gave you the gift of testimony. If you've been called to speak your testimony to others, then this gift was given to you through the whispering of Holy Spirit, and it's leading you to speak your truths. So people love your energy because they know that you speak the truth about the Bible. And they left a lot of things out of the Bible, and I think things that they left out of the Bible was intention intentionally because... Well, it's all it's all coming out. Something is right now, okay? Somebody needs to speak their truth about you need to speak your testimony. And your angels gave you the gift of being a light worker for all of humanity. You're meant to show other people how to get in line with their true calling. See? That's why Holy Spirit give this to me for me to sit down and uh, speak my testimony of things that's happened to me in my life, you know, uh, even if you're going to religion, uh, these you know religious people, they'll speak their testimony about how they're on drugs and things, and that's what I do with my with my tarot business. And nobody's going to steal that from me. No. They don't have the courage to speak their testimony the way I do. Um, and your angels gave you the gift of tapping into the spirit realm and tapping into what your past or loved ones knows of to help you along your life path and journey. Yeah, see. And your angels gave you the gift of relieving suffering from the planet. You're a gift which helps to heal all of humanity and to uplift the vibes of our planet. I love you, spirit. You're high vibing and you're raising the vibes. I know I'm doing that. That's what I speak of in my practice every time, ever since I started, I do. Uh, and when you see 1010, I just seen it earlier. Remember, you guys, swift change, fresh and new coming to you. Good things from love life right now. You're ready to contact your twin. The universe created the perfect circumstance for you and your twin to meet. You're, you're, this is about personal development. You're going through a spiritual awakening and you got enlightenment. And you're, this is about using your instincts and your intuition and paying attention to your thoughts. Your thoughts attract that person to you if you didn't know it, okay? And you're supposed to not think of that twin all the time, but if you're wanting them, that's all you got to do is think about them, and that's how they come to you. 
And your angels gave you a gift of talking to your past over loved ones. They will warn you when danger is coming towards you or when good is coming into your life. Hey, see, it's true, it's true, it's true. One more. Uh, financial good luck might be coming your way. This is about your mind, body, and spirit are all in line. Your magical and mystical energy is all around you at the money. At the moment, money is going to start flowing to you effortlessly. A higher power is guiding you at this time. All your relationships are being healed at the moment, and you are leveling up 737. If you see that, that's what it means. And your angels is giving you the gift of positivity. If you're around negative people, eventually you can teach them by be being positive. You can and will reap many, many rewards. Many rewards is coming to you, my dear. 3030. See? Many rewards is coming. That's what it's saying now. In 1919, I seen it a while ago. Huh? And you're able to attract wealth and happiness into your life. As a result of your prayers, you'll finally be able to experience and appreciate true love. You're building with your twin, and you're being honest and communicating, and you're compromising. Uh, this is this is about a, a, a marriage or a future marriage. This is a strong connection. See, I'm married. I have a strong connection. This, And if it's a future marriage for you all, it's a strong connection now. See, that's why it says that all the time. So keep your vibes high. You're helping the planet. You, you're you're a gift by sharing your testimony. It's helping others around the world. And I thank you for that spirit. And I love you. And I'm grateful for this gift. And uh, and uh, we're going through a spiritual awakening when we see 1010. And this is about using your instincts and your intuition. That something good is coming to your life. And the angels is blessed you by being a light worker for all humanity. This is your true calling. And you're warning, you, you, you warn people of danger. If it comes out, I tell y'all. And, and, and my spirit guides warn me of danger. And my Pisar loved ones is helping me along my path. And 737 means that we are, we're, are, all of our relationships are being healed at the moment. And we are leveling up. And, um, and it also means that we're in alignment with this magical uh, higher powers guiding us. And, and uh, we're positive and we ain't negative. Oh, what means? Okay, you guys. One more little message. A Gemini. Somebody you got a past over a Gemini that's wanting to talk to you. Uh, I mean, but they don't have to be. Maybe you're a Gemini. You're very clever, logical, skillful, very curious. It may be this uh, Gemini. Uh, it says, I was thinking about plastic surgery today. So today it felt great to take scissors to to my credit cards. <laughs> so uh, this, was, this was good and clever of you to cut up these cards. Thank you for that spirit. And uh, you... If you're a person that had to endure incest over and over, I'm sorry for you all. I'm sorry about that. I actually have had that. That's why I speak on it in my practice. I don't believe in speaking on things that you didn't have to endure. People that does that, that's wrong. They, they shouldn't even, even mention it. And uh, that's what your grandfather is helping your past over grandmother. Grandfather. That's your loved one that's helping you. And um, this is a new idea of mine. And nobody has permission to steal it. I look out beyond the maple tree and wish for you, my love, that you'll come to me and just break free. And lovers, you and me will be for all to see. That's by me, Pam. See my name? I wrote it. Do you love my little tree? I did too. Grandfather helped you. He's watching now. He's watching in. He's watching these people that didn't believe you, he's watching them through the window. And he's watching all these people that, you know, murder keeps on happening around the world and people all over think, think that it's uh, normal. And and we need to change the world and we need to strive for love and not hate. 
And a woman in man in love doesn't feel funny talking about their partner because they're in love. You and your partner's in love. Yeah, I love talking. And you're all connected to your animals, and they are aware of every time that you're upset because they come and sit by your side because you're in tune with your animals and in nature. Okay? And maybe it's saying that your partner and your animals feel so much better since y'all you cut up all that debt and you paid it off. I love you. That's weird. That's funny. <laughs> it's funny. And they, some woman is praying for your downfall only because you believe in a different religion or because you're spiritual. So it could be it's whoever that didn't listen to you about this incest, like if it's your mom, since, you know, it says woman, maybe his mom is mad at you because you're spiritual now. It doesn't matter. She, They don't know what it really means. And uh, this grandpa is helping you and with this person that set back him and uh, watched somebody pass away while they was gasping for air of a heart attack and dying, and they didn't even help the person. Did you hear that? So whoever this woman is, she, she might have did something to her spouse. Well, she didn't do nothing. She just let him lay her and die. But my spouse ain't dead. That ain't me. I'm just telling a story that Spirit told me to write one day. Are you listening? That's how I get my ideas in the silence. Oh, and uh, there, someone's wishing for you. And and uh, who is wishing? Who is wishing? Oh, it's a manager of a company that you worked for. They might owe you some money. This manager keeps spying on you through the windows. Thank you for telling on them, Spirit. Especially if they real, live real close to your house. They can do it real fucking easy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and during Mercury retrograde, they're trying to bring negative results. This manager is watching everything you do, Pam, if your name's Pam, uh, because... Uh, Maybe you talked about somebody that was trying to come around your vehicle to murder you, steal you, rape you, kill you, rob you, whatever it was. They, they're trying to bring negativity into your life, this person. They're spying on you during these, retro, these planets in retrograde. During Mercury retrograde, they was for real sure. And this is uh, an elder in your community, this manager. And you are, it might be an elder. You're moving beyond these old ancestral patterns. And sometimes you just need a good cry and let the emotions out, even if it's only to yourself. Yeah, listen to that, you all, even if it's only to yourself. And um, the angels is going to make it to where you're not going to have to worry about one damn thing when it comes to your finances. And, that, and that's what's pissing off these people. That's what's pissing them off, whoever they are. These people that's against you or whatever. And all they know how to do is gaslight and love bomb. That person that let their spouse die, just lay there and watch them. Uh, gaslight and love bomb, and that's all they do. Grandfather's watching them. A dead grandfather is. And, and you detected that somebody is spying on you, and this person is inclined to betray your confidences. And they don't always tell your secrets intentionally, but they told them. This manager that you used to work for, they, they told secrets on you, secrets and lies. They was trying to make it challenge in your life. And if, you, if you're with people that is on a low vibe, then you'll start vibing really low, hon. See, so you detected all this and you got away from the low vibing dicks. So, uh, saying this way, it's Gemini's glad that you cut your credit cards up. They're sorry you had endure incest. Your past old grandfather helps you along the way. And uh, you and your lover and uh, whoever tried to murder you, uh, they're going to get their payment. And a person in love don't, they, they love talking about if they're unloved. Your animals love you. And these people that's against you, they, they all they know how to do is sit there and watch their spouse die. And this manager, all they know how to do is bring negative results in your life. And you move beyond that bullshit you left it behind. You said if y'all need to cry, cry to yourself. The angels uh, is working for your finances to come together. And all these people that used to gaslight and love bomb you, stupid ass manager, uh, they're spying on you through your, they're spying, 
this manager is spying through the window watching you. And but you were smart. You got away from these people that told all your secrets and and because you didn't want to vibe low like them, good for you. I wouldn't want to fucking vibe low like them either. So I'm glad y'all got away from that bullshit, petty shit. All right, you guys. I hope that helps some out here today. I'm going to get off here. My neck's hurting. My neck's hurting, and I'm tired, and I love you. And I thank you, and I'm going to make sure to clean in here right now. All right, pieces. Love you guys.